Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Letter Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. I am going to be playing a god that's pretty good here. Hold on, let me decide, though. Um, I'll play... I'll play Merlin. I think the last Merlin game I did, I was auto-attack Merlin, and it ended, like, tragically. <laughs> so let's go with Merlin again, except this time... Auto purchase items and auto skill level. I was going to say auto purchase skills, but auto purchase items and auto level up. So I have no control over what the game does for me. Now, I did that Gilgamesh game. Okay, so I guess I'm not starting. I, I guess I don't get starter items. That's unfortunate because I really would have loved one, but that, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Wait. It got my three. It got my three at level three. That's that's super not cool. But uh, no, I when I did that Gilgamesh game where I, I quote unquote let the game decide, you know, what to build for me. A lot of people were upset about it because it they were like, uh, you said you let the game decide, but you still were the one who decided to do this. And then, you know, I read the comments and a lot of the comments were about doing this challenge instead. I had to press K real quick to get that off my screen because that would have annoyed the crap out of me. Um, Let's see. Are you getting blue buff or red buff? Also, I got to put the MMR up real quick. Let's see. Let's see what MMR says we're dealing with right now. 1300. Okay. <laughs> that is not the greatest. Holy crap I do a lot of damage holy crap you do a lot of damage okay he doesn't have um what is it called what's the what's the thing called where you heal med he doesn't have med so we should be okay for a second back so he hits hard bro he, he is starting Oh, 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 oh. Maybe kill, maybe kill, maybe kill. If I land the one, is it a kill? Probably not, right? Let's just go into this and then do the good old void stance clear. Tried and true. Best method to clear the wave with Merlon. But I have even better news. Even better news than the fact that the game is picking all my items and I'm actually doing the challenge you guys really wanted me to do is on... Friday, hold on, let me look at the date so I'm not lying to you. Uh, Friday the 7th, Friday the 7th, so like one week from today, basically. Wait, that's not how that works. I'm an idiot. Friday the 10th, sorry. On Friday the 10th, I was looking in January because my calendar switched up. Um, But no, Friday the 10th of December... I'll be doing a 24-hour stream. Normally, I start at about uh, 6 or 8. So, let's just start it at... Let's start it at 6. Why not? Start it at 6. I'll start a 24-hour stream at 6 p.m. Eastern on Friday the 10th. There's going to be a ton of different incentives like there always are. A ton of different fun challenges I'm going to have to do. Throw out a bunch of different goals. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of like um, like an extended housewarming stream. I, I did the 12-hour stream yesterday, and it was fun. I had a lot of fun doing it, but I felt the need to do a 24-hour instead of a 12-hour. You know, I got done with the 12-hour, and I, I was like, I could, do, I could do a 24 here. I could do a 24. So when the stream ended, I decided, I don't know why I opened my menu like I was going to buy something. It bought me Caron's coin, just twenty percent pen out the gate. All right, I guess. Um, yeah. After the twelve-hour stream yesterday, I decided, well, let's do a twenty-four. It's gonna feel pretty darn good. I haven't done a twenty-four hour in a couple months, which is weird for me because I've been doing them a lot more recently, like a lot more often recently than 
I think I've ever done before. But I like them. They're very fun. And, and it gives you guys a chance to, to watch the stream. Because, you know, a lot of times I stream during weird times. And I'm not oblivious to the fact. I know a lot of people in other countries or even just people that straight up, you know, have jobs. Um, they can't catch the streams because I stream during their work. But that's the beauty of a 24 hour stream and why I love it so much is because within an, uh, a 24 hour period, every single person pretty much is going to be able to have at least an hour or two to go hang out with someone they want to on Twitch. So I get to meet everybody during these 24 hour streams. So that's why I love doing them so much. So yeah, 6 p.m. Friday the 10th of December, Eastern time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you don't know what that is, just type in to Google, whatever time you are at to EST and it'll get you to it. Um, tell you what time it is for you, 6 p.m. Eastern. Gonna be fun, man. But well, let's get back into this game, shall we? Not focus on the 24 hours. Dream. Did he just beads? Doesn't have beads. Definitely too. I wonder if I can kill him here, actually. The thing is he has Bancrofts, and I have no I have no anti-heal. I don't even think it will build me in. Well, I don't know. Divine is pretty universally built. So maybe it will build a little bit of anti-heal. I mean I hope so, but we'll see. Do that, block him off for a second. I do want this this red buff. I had 2,000 gold. I think I probably need like probably a bit more than 2k. Is this gonna hurt? Oh my god, that does hurt. Holy crap. It is maxing my two next, which is good. So it it actually maxes the correct abilities. Well, I say correct. I, I personally max the two and then the one when I play Merlin. But maxing the one is what I think majority of people do. So. It, I'm surprised it actually maxes the right stuff. Because, I you know, in a game that you guys will never see, I was Amaterasu. And I, <laughs> I loaded up the, uh, the auto build. And I swear to God, I fought a Mer I was fighting a Medusa. I was fighting a Medusa with the diamond border. And it bought me tier two magical defense to start the game. I had no power. I had no attack speed. And I had no defense against the actual type of character I was fighting. So that was a mess, obviously. Um, <laughs> so the fact that it actually like does something decent in the, in the, Hold on. Don't kill me, please. The fact that it actually does something decent in this game, it's surprising, I'll be honest. We have 3,000 gold. Don't don't take this. Don't take this. Don't take this. Let's actually go. I don't think I'm scared of him. Am I? He's. I mean, he's kind of tanky. Ow. Okay. This is all. No. Okay. So he does a lot of damage. Understood. Won't make that mistake again. My bad. Buys me Chronos Pendant and Beads. Okay. I mean, hey, Beads is not bad here. At least I'm not fighting somebody where Beads is completely useless. It's actually kind of rare to fight someone that beads is used. Come to think of it, because I was just like, I was trying to think of a, an example where beads is completely useless and I literally couldn't. Vamana, I guess. At least I'm not fighting Vamana right now. Yeah, but I got a lot of pen. I now have a little bit of cooldown, which is actually really cool. Down. <laughs> yep, I hate myself too. Stop. Ah, why did you ult me? 
What was that about? Uh, are you gonna actually fight this? You have Bancrofts, you probably could. Coming over here? Alright, let's see if he goes blink. I think Chang'a with blink is terrifying, by the way. If you if you do play Chang'a, and it's a little weird to play Chang'a because she's not very good, but if you do play Chang'a, go blink. And I guarantee you'll win at least a couple games. Okay, that scared me. That scared me. He really wants to hurt me. Why do you want to do so much hurt to me? I want to do hurt to you. And crops OP, dude. Ooh, let's go. Huge first blood. Gigantic first blood. All it took was a little bit of outplay. It was the the cheeky beads, man. The cheeky beads. That's what it came down. It wasn't even an outplay. It was just the fact that I had beads and he wasn't expecting it. To be honest, you don't really get beads very often in duel, I feel like. It's always, or almost always, uh... Oh no, I did not mean to be Void Stance. It's almost always, like, Thorns and Meditation or... Uh, like Sunder is pretty often bought or Aegis and Shell like that guy has so Beads is a I don't know why I keep opening the shop god darn it oh I actually got the vine and it's building me another one I guess it's gonna go Spear the Magus maybe I do have a lot of abilities. Boom. So maybe Spear of the Magus? I really hope it does not go Obsidian Shard. I don't want Charon's Coin and Obsidian Shard. He literally has no defense. If I swear to you, if it goes and builds Hob Shard, I'm going to be so mad. 40% <laughs> pen against somebody with literally no defense. Um, will I want to fight against him right now? I will now. Uh, oh, I do 100 damage in auto. That's actually kind of cracked. Holy shit. My numbies are crazy, dude. Does Merlin always do this much damage? Or is it like an auto build thing? Do I build really bad all the time? Kind of unfortunate. Okay. I'm going to back at 1900 gold so that I am prompting it to get the good item. The one that I want. I don't have beads. I want to dive, but if he ults me under tower, I'll probably die. But the, I'll, I'll dive without the V. If I go under tower without the beads. Oh, but I do have beads now. So maybe I can dive with the V. I don't know. He, I mean, he does good damage. Okay. Missing everything doesn't help. Oh, that. Oh my God. I, dude, I do a lot of damage. Like, being able to throw this one out every, what, three seconds for 300 damage? Like, that's why I'm Hebo. I'm Hebo right now. Look at me. Look at me being Hebo. Holy crap. All right. Let's get this blue buff before we back. I actually have a lot of gold. Okay, please, whatever you do, do not buy Ob Shard. Please. That's all I ask. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, it bought Spear of Deso. Let's or not Spear of Deso, Spear of the Magus. Let's go. Wait, it's building me life steal now. Uh, maybe it's going Soul Gem. Soul Gem is not terrible. I mean, here's here's the thing about Soul Gem. Did I pause or did he pause? F10. Okay, he paused. Um, here's the thing about Soul Gem. It gives me good cooldown. 10%, right? And I, I need the 10% cooldown right now. I only have 20%, so an extra 10 would be nice. But I already have lifesteal in the form of Spear the Magus now, so I wonder... wonder if it's going to go Typhons. Because that would be a lot of damage, right? Like, just in general, it would be a lot of damage. Let's see. I'll ask him if he needs more time. You need another pause. Well, that's not how you spell pause. Okay, so it is going into probably probably Soul Gem over Pythags. I don't think I don't think it would ever go Pythags. I don't right? It would never go Pythags in a in a in a duel. Right? <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, damage? Oh, die to the tick. Die to the tick. Oh, good heal. I pre-beads, by the way, because I assume, like I knew I would do have enough damage to kill him. So I was assuming he was going to alt me to to keep himself alive. But instead, he just Aegis and healed. So I no longer have beads, but it's kind of okay, right? It's kind of okay. Holy shit. Dude, I I must be building mages wrong. When I play the game, I must be building mages. Like, I'm doing so much damage. This is insane. Can I actually get this with my passive, maybe? Please. Please, please. Nice. Now we'll get red buff and then we'll back for soul gem. And I'm really curious what last time was going to be. I assume it'll be a rod. Just because that's like universally a purchased item for a lot of damage. So I'm assuming it's going to be a rod. We'll see. Don't hit me. Okay. Kind of rude. Holy shit. My one just did 821 damage to him. Yeah, it's going to be a rod. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So overall, if I had to rate this build, I take points off for first item Karen's coin because that's idiotic. And I take points off for soul gem because it's not the best item for duel. Um, But, I mean, you know, 50% is, well... No, because I like Divine, I like Kronos, and I like Spear of the Magus. And I do like Rod. The order they're purchased in is actually not bad either. Actually not bad either. I wonder if maybe... Yeah, I mean, I just think if they change the Charon's coin to be... Actually... Oh, God, dude. I, I'm having so many thoughts run through my head about this build. I think... In general, if you just bought like these items, like Cro like if you bought these exact six items, but you bought Chronos Pendant and then Spear of the Magus and then Divine and then Charons and then Soul Gem and then Rod, it would be a good build. Obviously, Soul Gem should be something else, but I think the order in which it auto purchases items is trash and the Soul Gem is trash, but everything else is not bad at all. You are going to get absolutely smashed here. 
Boom, pow. Oh, hold on. Boom, pop, pow. Boop. 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 Nice. Did my soldier proc on my auto attack? I didn't actually know it could do that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video of the the game deciding my build. I give it. I give it a six out of ten because the soul gem is shit. It's a bad item. I mean, in duel, it's a bad item, and the order that it purchased items is pretty bad. So I think six out of ten is is good. Maybe a seven out of ten because the items are okay in general. Like five out of the six items are okay. But if you just replace soul gem with like like a boombas, oh my god. Oh my god, if you got Boombas here instead of Soldier, this would be a perfect build. In a different order, of course. But yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to come by on the 10th Friday of December, 6 p.m. Eastern is when I'm going to be starting that 24-hour stream. See you guys there. Uh, I love you guys. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. I don't think they heard you. Do it again. Yeah, they heard you that time. <laughs>